Hi, Michelle here. In this video, I'll show you how to easily configure your own MCP server and customize additional system tools for your workflow. To do this, we're going to go to mcp.appify.com. Here we can see all the available tools for us. Here, on the top, we can select all the actors we want to have in our MCP server. You can simply click on the ones you want to add in, or you can search for them here. After you're happy with your selection, click on Save Changes. Now, you can configure your server with additional tools. These are Actor Management. To search actors, get actor details, and call actors generally. Documentation. Search and fetch Appify documentation. Actor Runs. Get run details, list runs, and retrieve logs. Data Storage. Access data sets, key value stores, and their contents. Experimental Features. Dynamic actor addition during sessions. Once you've configured the tools, you can now use your MCP server. You can either use a unique MCP server URL, or you can integrate it with tools like our tester MCP client, Claude, Coursor, VS Code, and more. Now, let me show you how to put your newly configured MCP server into Claude. Click on Claude Desktop. Make sure to select Add API Token. If you want to, you'll still have to retrieve the token yourself, but I'll show you how to do it later. Then select local and copy the code. Now let's paste it into Claude's configuration. Just open up Claude, go to settings, developer, and click on edit config. Now you'll just have to paste in the code provided. You also need to input your Appify token. You can find it if you go to the console, settings, API and integrations, and copy the API token and paste it here. Now just save it, and that's it. Now you have your MCP server configured. And that's all for today. Let us know what you think about the Appify MCP Server Configurator. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay updated on new tutorials. So long and thanks for all the likes.